Below there, this is Father Jim, pastor of Divine Grace Parish. So this uh, particular reflection will conclude uh, the four reflections on the creed that we profess every uh, Sunday at Mass, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. The word apostolic signifies uh, the events that we see in the scripture, the fact that first of all, the Lord gathered around himself disciples. Secondly, from those disciples, he appointed apostles and their specific responsibility uh, is to teach, sanctify, and to lead this flock uh, that Jesus is putting together, that he has gathered around himself. In a very particular way, we hear the Lord entrusting to St. Peter the responsibility, you know, visualized in the keys of the kingdom, uh, the teaching authority to bind and to loose, basically to define uh, and to protect and to defend all the elements of the, the gospel. And that authority, of course, is shared with the other apostles as well. We see different times in the scripture, the Acts of the Apostles, where the clarification needed to be made. Uh, the First Council of Jerusalem, where the apostles came together, they had to, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, resolve certain situations, and then therefore their resolution then became normative for the church. We see a pastoral situation where uh, uh, widows and orphans needed a particular ministry that required the presence of the apostles. So with their authority, their teaching authority, they determined that deacons uh, would be ordained to respond to these pastoral needs. So I think often of, um, you know, a little child is born and that child living a long life to so their an older person, it's the same person but you see a development of that little baby into an adult. So it is with the teachings of the church. We see uh, this kerygma, we see these early uh, proclamations in the scripture, Jesus is Lord. Now that's all gonna evolve uh, through the centuries. What does that mean? So we have teachings and doctrine that develop, but it's, it's the same teaching. It's the role of the apostles, it's the role of the bishops who succeed them, the role of the Holy Father who succeeds St. Peter, to be able to protect, to guard, and to propagate these teachings. Now, in the last several centuries, we've seen uh, Christians who uh, no longer want to be a part of that type of a structure, that part of a family anymore. A Christianity that has no pope, a Christianity that has no bishop, a Christianity that has no priest. And of course, without the hierarchy, then there's no Eucharist, right? Uh, it's, it's from the power of the priesthood that Jesus entrusted to, to the apostles at the Last Supper uh, the responsibility of confecting and bringing about the body and blood of Christ. So when we say that we believe in an apostolic church, it's not just authority and hierarchy, it's about the way in which the Lord makes himself accessible to us through the sacramental life of the church. You take that away, uh, what's left? Uh, certainly other elements of the Christian tradition scripture and fellowship and well, good ministry, uh, but the Lord wanted us to experience all the way into this 21st century, a personal experience of who he is. Uh, and we call that the sacramental liturgical life of the church. Take that away. Uh, as the Lord says, man cannot live by bread alone. We're gonna feed ourselves with other types of things. So remember that when we confess on Sunday that I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, uh, that that apostolicity is preserving for us uh, the most intimate way in which we can relate to God. We've got lots of Christian brothers and sisters, very good people, of course, who live their Christian faith with great example, uh, but who have separated themselves from this element of what Jesus wanted. Maybe they're family members, maybe they're friends, maybe even our own parish. Who do we need to invite back to be a part of this apostolic church so that they too can benefit what the Lord wanted uh, during that Last Supper, uh, giving of himself in that way. He is the Lamb of God, and that Lamb is not something to be looked at. It's something that nourishes the soul. So until next time, uh, may the divine grace of God be with you, be with our parish here. May God bless you. Thank you.